Joining me this evening is Alex Walpole, a senior from Pembroke Pines, Florida, who is a member of the Catawba men's swim team. Alex swam in his final home meet against the Lenore Rhine Bears on Friday night at Johnson Pool. He won the 100 free event for the Indians, helping them defeat their Bluegrass Mountain Conference foe 158 to 58. Alex, what were your main focuses during your last home meet of your career? Yes, just uh, impressing my fan base. Um, now there are actually a lot of people coming to watch the swim meet, so I wanted to go out with the bank and give everyone some races to watch and to cheer for. What were some of your favorite aspects of the Catawba swim team? Definitely the bonding uh, was my favorite part of the Catawba swimming. We were basically like a big family, so uh, and some of the stories we shared I would never take back, and I regret nothing. You have a meet at East Carolina this weekend, as well as the conference meet the following weekend. What are you trying to accomplish in your final two meets of your collegiate career? Just going out and racing. I don't want to look back and say that I didn't uh, give it my best. I want to definitely see what I have left and maybe try to beat my previous records. And what is the most important lesson you have learned from being a student athlete? Time management. I like to work hard and play hard. and It's possible to find time for both, but you have to be smart about it. Well, good luck this weekend at ECU. Thank you. I'm here with Katie Huff, a senior from Richfield, North Carolina, who is a vital member of the Catawba Lady Indian swim team. Katie swam on the last home meet of her career against the Lenore Rhine Bears Friday night in Johnson Pool. She claimed individual wins in the 50 and 100 breaststroke, helping the Lady Indians defeat their Bluegrass Mountain Conference foe 166 to 69. Katie, what emotions are you experiencing knowing that you swam in the last home meet of your collegiate career? Well, Steffi, I'm a little bit sad because I swam here for four years and I had a great time and it's like I gotta move on to the next part of my life. But it was really exciting and really nice to see all my friends in the stands and all my family. And I'm just really excited the way it ended. We ended with a win. We, we demolished Lenoran. I'm pretty excited. What are your final goals for the last two meets of the season? I would like to uh, beat my previous personal best records. Uh, that would be beating a 106 and a 222 and the 100 and 200 breaststroke. And I would like to, uh, we'll go to ECU next weekend, and I would like to show them they're Division I, and they're pretty, pretty good. And uh, I would like to, you know, make Catawba well-known, get some more people to come here. What was your favorite aspect of the Catawba swimming program? Well, we're like a huge family. Like, we eat breakfast together, we do everything together, we, we have so many stories and so many just jokes, and we have a good time when we come here in the pool. What is the most valuable lesson you have learned from being a student athlete? Well, I learned that there's more to life than just swimming. I learned that with swimming, you've also got to, uh, you got to perform in the classroom. And being here at Catawba, it's made me develop to be a better person and made me understand a lot more things and just helped me really grow as a person. Thank you for your time, Katie, and good luck in the last two meets of your career. Thank you, Stephanie.